Is your connection safe and private on all devices at home? If you have not set up a VPN on each of them, that is questionable. But let us save you some valuable time by saying that you can secure your whole home network by setting up a VPN straight on your router. Using a VPN is simple, affordable and very effective way to protect your internet traffic and privacy online. A VPN ensures the data goes through an encrypted tunnel and is safe from hackers, from governments and pretty much everyone you do not wish to share your information with. Today we are going to use NordVPN for the purpose of this video. Setting up a VPN on your router is way more efficient than doing it one by one for each laptop, tablet, smartphone and any other device on the same network. It is enough to set up it once and really forget about it. Even if you introduce a new device, it's going to be immediately secure and private. Without further ado, let's dive into simple step-by-step -step guide to set up a NordVPN connection on your home router. For this, we'll be using RUT360, one of the latest 4G IoT routers in Teltonica Network's portfolio, which is also widely used at home by true enthusiasts. To begin with, you should go to NordVPN website and download OpenVPN configuration files. Now, to access router's web UI, go to Services, VPN, and OpenVPN. Create new configuration by filling in your desired network configuration name, then select Client Role and press Add button. Next, follow on-screen instructions. Press save and apply. Then you will be forwarded back to OpenVPN configuration window and if you have applied the configuration correctly, it will appear as connected. It might take a couple of moments to connect though. Now, should you like to increase your anonymity, there are additional steps you may take. So check the links in the description for more details. And that's all. Your internet traffic now travels to a VPN tunnel. To make sure everything is working properly, you should check whether your IP address and locations have changed. You may do so by visiting whatsmyipaddress.com or similar websites. And as always, let us know in the comments if you succeeded with these instructions and let us know if you have any questions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and see you in the next video.